Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Before I get into this video, let me just say that everything said in this video is alleged and it's my very own personal opinion, okay? So y'all, I wanted to come through and talk about a couple of things that have been circulating around the YouTube streets. Erica Mena and her interview with Carlos King, Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union, and also former NBA player uh, Joe Smith and his wife, Keisha Chavez, okay? So Carlos King, we're going to start with Erica Mena first. Carlos King then did a two-part interview with Erica Mena from Love and Hip Hop ATL. As most of you already know, she's been on the chopping block lately because of her racist remark towards one of her co-workers from the show, which was Spice. So, you know, she called Spice a monkey. And due to her comment, she was fired from the show, probably temporarily, okay, until shit calms down, because Mona caught backlash for keeping her on the show after she called Spice a monkey. I don't like Spice, but whether I like her or not, Erica shouldn't have called her what she called her because it was racist. Erica want to act like, you know, she didn't know the shit was racist, but I just don't believe that. In fact, in that interview, y'all, I didn't hear Erica say that she didn't know it was racist. Carlos kind of, you know, said that shit for her. And Carlos is known, at least to me, he is, you know, for being someone who gets on his platform and try to paint false narratives of people he know ain't shit. He did it for the cast of Love and Marriage Huntsville. He did it for Jocelyn Hernandez and now for Erica Mena. We know the majority of them folks on Love and Marriage Huntsville ain't shit. But for the sake of the show, he wanted to make the audience see those fucking fraudulent, no class having, fake millionaire, lawsuit infected, criminalistic, homeless, fake ass business people as something that they're not. Which, you know, are good people. Jocelyn Hernandez is the epitome of trash. She has a whole show where she does nothing but degrade black women, something Carlos seems to love because even the men from Love and Marriage Huntsville treats black women poorly, black women who are their fucking wives. And Carlos seemingly thinks that that shit is entertainment. Jocelyn is complete trash, but he tried to bring that bitch on his platform, sit her on that couch and try to paint her out to be this loving mother, smart person, you know, good person when she's neither, in my opinion. That bitch be on drugs, out here fighting like a fucking animal at her age, degrading and assaulting black women. But he wanted to bring her on to paint her out to be the opposite of what she really is. Okay, I guess to boost traffic to his YouTube page. Now, here he is with Erica Mena trying to paint, you know, the narrative that, you know, trying to paint the narrative that this pineapple head ass bitch didn't know what she was doing when she called Spice a monkey. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, if Spice a monkey, your kids are monkeys too. See, you didn't think that shit through. Okay? All she saw was a black woman. Okay? And she was mad. And she called that black woman what was on her heart, which was a fucking monkey. Because that's how she sees black women, in my opinion, because she thinks that she's better than them. These black men be putting it in their heads that they're better than us, black women, because they are their preference. So y'all, Erica said that she don't have a racist bone in her body. She said she would never call anybody a monkey with the intention of hurting them pretty much. She said she even called her own sister a monkey. Of course, she would insert her sister in this shit because her sister ain't going to come out and say she's lying. Okay. And she said that she uses the word as an insult, but in a playful way. And that shit is some straight up bullshit because in no way was she playing with Spice when she called her what she called her. She said that shit with her entire fake ass chest. She meant that shit. She not sorry. This is just, you know what I'm saying? Who she is. I posted a reel over on my uh, Instagram page of her calling folks, you know, children. Little nappy head children. Drake! Yeah, what was that? <laughs> that was pretty good. That was good, right? Drake! Yo. Yo, stop asking me about my kid. I don't be asking y'all about y'all fucking little nappy headed children. That bitch ain't sorry for what she said. She's sorry that it caused her to lose out on money. She's sitting up there talking about, you know, if what she said was as bad as they say it is, then. Why didn't they fire her, you know, months ago when she said the shit? They didn't fire her because deep down they don't give a fuck. Okay? But that don't mean that what she did was right. The only thing they care about as a network, in my opinion, or even just, you know, Mona, in my opinion, 
the show. All they care about are ratings. Have folks not expressed outrage? Erica would still be on that show for sure. But if she was truly sorry, y'all, in my opinion, she wouldn't have cared about why they didn't fire her then. She would have just apologized off the bat for saying what she said because it offended people and it was racist. I don't give a fuck about her tears because don't nobody give a fuck about ours whenever, okay? Whenever something is done to us, we should just get the fuck over it. But when it, you know, when the shit happens to them, we're supposed to have empathy and care about their tears. No, fuck you and your tears, okay? Because for one, they're not genuine. I learned that Erica's mother was in prison when she gave birth to her. So she ended up going into the foster care system um, till her mother got out. I think she said she was like between seven and nine when her mother got out of prison. She claims that she was molested as a child. So shit, you know, was rough for her as a child. And I get it. But there are plenty of people who done been in the system and done been through worse shit. But that don't give them an excuse to go you know, saying racist shit to folks. Like, you know what I'm saying? Why Why Spice had to be a monkey? Why couldn't your mama have been the monkey? You know what I'm saying? You should be more mad at your mama than you are Spice. But anyway, before I get off of Erica Mena, I just have to tell y'all what she said about why it was on her heart to call Spice a monkey at the time. She said she loved and had a lot of respect for Spice. She said that she could relate to Spice because they were on the same mission pretty much to create better lives for their children. Erica left her kids in New York or wherever while she went off to make money to take care of them. And then, you know, Spice had her children in Jamaica while she came to the States to create a better life for them or so she said. All right. They were both in the same boat. She said that she called Spice a monkey because not not on, well, this was a part of it. Not only did Spice comment on her parenting when she and Spice both have pretty much, you know, left their children behind to go work. But once Spice told her that her son hated her, which she said she got from her ex-husband Safari, she said Spice started bantering her. She was on the inside where security had um no, Erica was on the outside where security had taken her after she had flipped that table on Spice. And Spice was on the inside, okay? But because production was in and out of that door trying to defuse the situation, I guess, she said that she could still hear Spice on the inside continuously saying that her son hated her. So she said that Spice at that point was still taunting her and, you know, bumping on the window, banging on the window and putting her ass up to the window. So she was pretty much saying that Spice was acting like a monkey. So that's what she called her ass. However, she claims that she still has love for Spice and uh, went into she went into talking about how distraught she was when she heard that Spice was in a hospital and how the first thing she thought about was Spice's kids. So in other words, she wanted to act like she was hurt that Spice uh, would use her kids to, you know, to hurt her. I don't care what nobody say. There were several things that she could have called Spice. You know what I'm saying? She could have hit me up and I would have gave her a whole list of things to call Spice because she is not my favorite person. There were so many things she could have called her, but she called her a monkey. Okay. Cause that's what she truly thinks of black women. In my opinion, she wants to say that spice was acting like an animal, but we can say her ass been acting like an animal. Okay. As well. What self-control does Erica have? Her ass done been into it with some of everybody. She ain't no better than nobody else, but she seemed to think that she is, which is why she called Spice what she called her. And Carlos, nor anybody else, can convince me otherwise. Now, let me move on over to Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade. These two motherfuckers get on my nerves, get all the way on my nerves. There has been talk around the YouTube streets about her and Dwayne Wade being over, done, okay? Um, I haven't seen it on any major platforms announcing, you know, that shit. So I'm not about to sit up here and say that the shit is true. Cause if it was, I feel that the shit would be covered everywhere. Just like, you know, them announcing that Dwayne's Wade's son wanted to be a girl, that shit would be everywhere. But anyway, folks are speculating that they are done because I guess she was spotted on vacation without, you know, him and didn't have on her wedding ring. Also, um, they said that Gabrielle Union had made questionable posts. Okay. With one being, she said she would do anything for her daughter's peace. The two of them 
as in Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade, they were saying that um, they weren't seen posting about family and stuff on Instagram, I guess, like they usually do. Um, they say that Dwayne was seen out with a woman that wasn't Gabrielle, but a mutual friend of theirs or something like that. We all know that he has a history of cheating, okay? On his um, uh, ex-wife as well as his current wife. So I believe he cheated on them both. He went out there and had a whole baby on Gabrielle Union while they were allegedly on break. But I feel like they weren't on break. I feel like that's just some shit that they came up with to save face. And it's funny how Gabrielle Union can come out and talk about everything else, okay? But she don't say two words about that damn sad baby of Dwayne Wade's. Okay? She can come out to the world and introduce, you know, him and Saban's son as a girl. But she will never talk about that sad baby that Dwayne uh, went out there and had at a time when her ass was having a hard time conceiving, which is why she had to go and get a surrogate, I believe. Gabrielle Union ain't as happy as she won't force to think she is. How can you be happy knowing that your trifling ass husband can go out there and create a baby with another woman at any given moment and embarrass the fuck out of you, okay? See, they may not be getting a divorce now, but I feel like it could definitely be in their future because you lose them how you get them. And yeah, Dwayne and Gabrielle may have waited until you know his divorce from Savon was final. But I believe their asses was messing around while Dwayne was still married to his ex-wife. Okay? It's not like Dwayne or Gabrielle respect marriage. They both cheated in their marriages, but they honestly thought that they were about to go off and be happy with one another. Live happily ever after. Girl, bye. Boy, bye. Okay? I was never a fan of Gabrielle Union, but I damn sure ain't no fan of Dwayne. Okay? The way he treated his ex-wife, the one who was with him while he was shooting in the gym, okay, had her family take his ass in while, when, you know, when they were kids, because he had issues with his family, gave him two sons, but he reached a certain status and he wants himself an actress. All of a sudden, the one who held him down when he had nothing, she wasn't good enough for him no more. Okay. In my opinion, he wanted her out of the picture, took her kids away from her and everything. I think she said that he phys even physically abused her while she was pregnant. Just did her dirty. So, no, I don't like his ass. I feel like he done fucked over his ex-wife for years. And it was made possible because he had money and she didn't. He had fame and she didn't. I don't respect niggas like that. I think he claimed during the custody case that she was making it hard for him to see, you know, their sons. But I believe that he just wanted her ass out the picture and did what was necessary to get her ass out the picture. Took her damn kids away. Didn't give a fuck about how his kids would feel, you know, not being with their mother. I believe they were only eight and two at the time. In my opinion, he gave no fucks. He didn't have his own mama growing up because I believe she was addicted to drugs and in and out of prison. So I guess he figured his kids didn't need their mama either or, you know, would be okay without their mama around. Took them from their real mother and gave them to Gabrielle Union to help him raise. Now, I want to see how Gabrielle going to feel when another woman is raising her daughter, her child, because I feel like it's going to happen. I guess, you know, with his first wife, Dwayne wanted to, he wanted the judge to believe that he had his kids best interest at heart and was going to take them to take the boys to Miami or wherever the fuck he took them to raise them as men. Only now one of them wants to be a girl. Okay. And Miss Gabby probably had something to do with that. I feel like Dwayne's son was heavily influenced, okay, especially by his current wife. What nine or 11-year-old child comes to their parent and says, dad, I want to live in my truth. You don't even know what the fuck your truth is at that age. You can't even decide what cereal you want for breakfast. My thing is, once you get a certain age and can legally make your own decisions, I can't stop you from doing shit, but in my house, you're going to be what God created you to be. Whatever you choose to be when you get grown is what you choose. And I'm not going to stop loving you or, you know, I'm not going to mistreat you or disown you because of that. Okay. I feel like initially Dwayne was embarrassed, but has now accepted it. 
because it makes it easier for him to live in his truth. You know what I'm saying? Dwayne may want to be like his son. Him and Gabrielle see how, you know, accepting folks are of it, especially Hollywood. And that's beneficial to them, in my opinion. So, of course, they're going to go along with it. Just my opinion. And I'm entitled to it. OK. But as far as that divorce rumor goes about Dwayne and Gabrielle, I heard that they seemingly set the rumor. You know, they shut it down. They shut the rumor down and they have been spotted together for her birthday or whatever. And Dwayne posted a message to her, you know on her IG page for her birthday. Um, maybe she didn't have a ring on because of the activity she was engaging in. I saw her ass in some kind of like water cave or some shit like that. Look like it was out of the country. I don't know. Maybe he was going to, you know, um, what do you call that? Um, have some upgrades done to her current wedding ring. I don't know. The other day, you know, she got under the post that he made to her on IG and she said, I love you, babe. So I don't think the divorce rumors are true, at least for now. Okay. Now, before I get out of here, y'all, I wanted to talk about former NBA player, uh, Joe Smith, who recently found out that his wife, Keisha Chavez, who has been said to be a former adult actress, in other words, a fucking porn star, I'm assuming. Um, has a uh, OnlyFans page, okay? He just recently found that out. It's stupid, bro. I can't believe I'm sitting here just finding out you got an OnlyFans page. Out of all these years, yo, the disrespect that comes with it, that you couldn't even talk to me before you did it, that's bullshit, yo. That's fucked up, Keith. I'm telling you, yo, that's fucked up. Wait. Wait, no, 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 cop, but you're not gonna say fuck me or that's fucked up. It's not fucked up. You're recording me? What the fuck you doing? Listen, it's not fucked up, and we're going to... Up. Okay, look, so I have an OnlyFans page, and he's mad because he's just now finding out about it. Of course I'm mad I'm just finding but out about it. I'm not doing it with anybody but myself, so why should I have to tell you my choice, my body, my body, my fucking choice? I'm your partner, you're supposed to come to me and talk to Joe, me I've been talking to you about mad things. I've been asking for solutions to shit. You're not giving me none, so I created one. That's no solution. Not in my book. That's no you solution. Knew, you knew who the fuck I was when you met me. Before. Before. Before, before, yeah, we met, before, yeah, I and I that. thought that I would never have to go man, back to anything yeah, like I knew this that again, but unfortunately, no, no, no. that's not the case after right that, now. After that, everything's supposed to change. Everything did change. No, 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 no. Obviously, everything. it hasn't. No, it had to, I had Obviously to do it something. it hasn't. You stood out there showing your body. You stood out there doing stuff like this on camera. You act like that's the only thing that I do. I have mad jobs, but they're not facilitating everything that needs to be done. So I got something extra. Only fans be breaking me off. What the Man, fuck? Come on, Keisha, with that. It don't matter what they breaking you off. It's the disrespect that comes with it. What you disrespect? Even, you couldn't come and talk to me about it. Okay, well, we're talking about it now. Because I had so... to find out on the fly. All right, then. But now, okay. No, so, wait. I had to find out on the fly. So now you know. Yeah, now I know. Okay. And so? Whatever. I've been doing what I have to do, period. Like, that's bottom line. Yeah. That's what it is. Now, she know her ass dead ass wrong for that shit. But this is what happens when you try to turn a whore into a housewife. She knew that he was probably going try to knock her fucking head off. So she recorded that shit probably, you know, thinking she would be safe. But it's like, girl, I hope you don't beat your ass. I mean, this is still Domestic Violence Awareness Month, but at some point, you will have to put that phone down. This dude said that he had to find out from a flyer that his wife had an OnlyFans page, okay? Showing her ass. She knew that shit was wrong, because otherwise, she would have told him about it. If you got to have something from your partner, you know damn well you shouldn't be doing it. And I don't blame him for getting mad. Because why I got to find out that you're showing your ass, okay, from a fucking flyer? Why are you showing your ass, period, to motherfuckers who ain't me? If married folks practice doing unto their partner as they would want their partner to do unto them, they would have less problems, in my opinion. Now, her excuse for having an OnlyFans page is because the other jobs that she have ain't getting the job done. So that leads me to my next question of... 
Well, is her husband broke? It's been said that he's made like $61 million during his NBA career. Did he blow it all? Did her ass help him blow it all? Even still, in my opinion, it was wrong of her to do that behind his back. My other thing is that if she's been doing that for a while behind his back, he probably thinking that her ass will go back to being a fucking porn star or an adult actress behind his back, okay? And then fuck around and bring his ass something that he can't get rid of. She acting like, okay, nigga, you ain't providing for me, so a bitch got to do what she got to do. Then embarrass his ass by recording the shit, and the shit done went viral. Or maybe she knew that the shit was about to come out, you know, and to make him look better, they just played it off as if he didn't know. Child, I don't know. But I wanted to talk about this briefly because I want to know, is it just me or would y'all asses go the fuck off if you found out that your spouse had an OnlyFans page behind your back? I know the fuck I would because, nigga, what else have you been doing behind my back? Okay? That's going to fuck around and get a fucking crock pot thrown at your motherfucking head and have your mom around here talking about something. What's wrong with my boy? How about when your ass find out, you let me know? Because clearly your boy got me fucked up. And y'all, on that note, that's going to be all for this video. Y'all take care, and I'll chat with y'all in the next one.